by. My name is AJ Bot. This presentation will be on Carson McCullers. I will talk to you about the time period she was born in, her life, a couple of her books, her style of writing, and the significance of Carson. Carson McCullers was alive during events from the 1917s through the 1967s. During this time, she was still probably listening to the radio. We're no strangers to love. First off, let's talk about what she was alive during. Carson McCullers was alive when the United Nations was created in 1945. She was alive when women were still trying to get rights. In 1960, President John F. Kennedy was elected president. And she was alive when segregation was outlawed in public schools. Now enough of history class, let's talk more about Carson McCullers. Carson McCullers was born on February 19th. 1917 in Columbus, Georgia. She had displayed a great deal of musical talent when she was a young girl. When she was 17, she traveled to New York City to attend Juilliard School of Music, but she lost her tuition money on the subway. Unable to pursue her interest in music, she began taking writing courses at Columbia. During her late 20s, she suffered a series of strokes that left her partially paralyzed and severely limited her ability to write. It took her 10 years to write Clock Without Hands. She completed it by typing with one hand at the rate of one page per day. McCullers endured two different marriages to the same man, James Reeves McCullers. She died on September 29, 1967 in New York, New York. Now, onto a couple of her books. One of Carson McCullers' books was The Heart is a Lonely Hunter. The focus of the work is on John Singer, a deaf mute guy in a Georgia mill town during the 1930s, and his effect on the people who confined in him. When Singer's mute Greek companion of 10 years goes insane, Singer is left alone and isolated. The book emphasizes on individuals who are considered outcasts because of race, politics, disability, or sensibility placed in squarely within the Southern Gothic tradition of American literature. Another one of Carson McCullers' books is The Ballad of the Sad Cafe. To summarize, many of her characters are loners, but being alone does not eliminate their ability to love, nor their quest for it, often in the strangest of places. Now on to a couple of her writing styles. One of the styles McCullers used was argumentation. Argumentation is writing that attempts to convince the reader to accept a specific opinion or point of view. Another style of writing that she uses is that she captures the feeling of isolation and loneliness. And lastly, the significance of Carson McCullers. She won the 1950 New York Drama Critics Circle Award for Best American Play of the Season. And she had won the Donaldson Award for Best Play and Best First Play by an Author. Thank you for sitting through this presentation. Uh, I hope it's been the most enjoyable one you've seen all day, or the only one. If you have any questions, ask the real me. See ya.